how to prevent pimples if you already have it how to cure it if you don't have it and you should know how to prevent it isn't it prevention is better than cure right why do we say that if you don't have any diseases if you start your lifestyle properly if you have a proper lifestyle you don't get diseases that's okay prevention is better easy also and why do we say cure is difficult after getting some disease it's very hard to cure it you know you should remember this if you don't have any diseases change your lifestyle why because after getting some diseases it's not that easy to cure it you will go through a lot of you know, stress tension after that it is not good don't don't go close to it so many people face this issue right pimples mostly girls even boys also have the issue and they start think, thinking about it worrying about it and they'll get tensed stress they don't like it uh, to be shown to others and they'll be applying lot of chemicals creams that this and all they'll try lot of things they'll worsen it it will become worse see you have to understand one thing the body the skin is already facing some issue that means you are not living in a proper way it's not a proper lifestyle and it is showing that there is some problem on top of it you want to apply more chemicals on it are you trying to cure it or are you trying to worsen it see you need to understand it there is some problem you have to understand and you have to try to cure it don't try to amplify it you have to know you know what are you doing what you should do what you shouldn't do that's a problem right the skin has some problem it is trying to show you some problem it is showing you some issue and you need to understand the body and you need to provide what it wants not what it doesn't want the chemicals body doesn't want the chemicals or the creams whatever you are applying is it is it curing i have seen people using it for years together but it doesn't get cured but still they'll continue they'll go for doctor they'll try some treatment they'll try taking some medicine medication why it's a simple thing why do you want to you know take medicine for that for every small thing you will go for medication chemicals what are you thinking about the body it's not a laboratory right to keep on taking some medicine some syrups that this and all a lot of creams and all so what is important to cure it or to prevent it what do you have to do you have to make some changes in your lifestyle you know you need to understand what the body wants and you have to provide it that's all you have to do you don't have to go to doctor and apply creams and take tablets medicines and all it doesn't get cured by that you know by doing this firstly what is important you have to wake up early you have to provide a lot of water you need to drink at least 1 liter of water after waking up what is causing this pimples toxins the toxins are unable to go out out of the body the blood circulation is not properly you know happening so the purification doesn't happen properly the toxins will not come out properly toxins how does it come out the bowel movement should be proper firstly you should remember this you should not have constipation you should you should not have constipation 
lot of people try to avoid water they don't drink water properly because they don't want to go to urine frequently it is one of the ways to you know flush out the toxins why do you stop it first problem constipation you are not letting the toxins to go out and urine you don't let the body to do it its job properly by not providing water and you don't do physical activities yoga pranayama anything as such when you do a yoga physical activity pranayama is what happens you are taking a lot of energy vital energy while doing some asanas the blood circulation is happening across the body the energy the, it flows properly you no know? to entire system from head to the toes when you do specific asanas or asanas the blood is flowing properly then that what what's happening at that time the toxins are taken out the body is getting cleansed when you're doing breathing there is a lot of energy the immune system gets boosted up the toxins go out you're not doing all any of this you're simply trying to cure it by applying some cream and uh, some medication it's not cure right you're just covering it up. for that moment you're trying to cover it and it, it doesn't get cured no by doing that you need to know how the toxins will go out of the body and you should try to help the body no constipation have 4 liters of water a day in the morning especially you have to have 1 liter of water if you can't drink water as it is you can add lemon and honey in it and drink it see how many benefits if you drink water in the morning constipation will not be there it will be gone bowel movement will happen properly the toxins will come out properly in the name of sweat in the, in the form of sweat and all urine when you do asanas pranayama and all the blood flows properly the energy flows properly across the body entire body and toxins toxins will go out there shouldn't be any toxins inside you know so next thing you need to have proper food unpolished food natural food organic food that can be rice and polished rice oil which is not processed which is you know right organic oil you can get these days cold pressed oil wooden pressed oil bull driven you know cold pressed oil they are good for the health they help you to be healthy and salt that powder salt one you should not use it you should use the raw salt that means which is not processed natural food is good polished processed food are not good that is not good you have to stay away from it and don't eat junk food don't take coffee teas if you have meals don't have anything in between It's junk you know the snacks coffee teas don't have it you should not have only two meals cooked meals only two meals if you are hungry in between you can have some fruits vegetables vegetable salad or some dates some groundnuts soaked soaked groundnuts you can have some coconut in between if you want some juices sugar cane juices such as such natural thing don't don't eat in junk food all the time it is not good at all you're facing it right the skin problem the pimples that there's allergies and all why because of this i mean you're eating wrong food you're sleeping in the wrong time you're not providing ample of enough of water to your body there is a constipation you're not going to urine properly so you see you're not doing anything that is required to the body and you are expecting the body to be healthy It's a simple thing, no? It is in your hands. Go to bed early. By nine o'clock, go to sleep. Four thirty, five o'clock, you just wake up, drink water, 
clean the bowl and then start yoga, you will see the results within a week. The pimples and all, all will be gone within 10 days only. And then soaps, it is very important what you are using. Do they contain any chemicals? Just stay away from it. If you have any organic soaps, use it. If you don't have any organic soap, there is a natural way, no? Coconut oil is very, the best thing is coconut oil. Just apply coconut oil for, you know, leave it for 10, 15 minutes or 30 minutes. And then don't apply any soap. Gram floor is there, right? Just mix, mix it with some oil or water. Just apply it on your face. Don't apply it on the entire body. Maybe once in a month you can apply it to the entire body, but it's not required. Some people don't like it, right? After applying the oil, it will look some stick, oily and something. But I don't apply soap and all. I use only oil. I don't think my skin is looking that oily and all. It doesn't. It is a, we think that's all. We don't try it. We don't practice it. We simply assume and then will not do good things. Just apply oil, have bath with water, just keep rubbing your skin. Without soap, it get cleansed. If at all you want the face to look, look uh, bright, good, shiny, you can use the gram floor. Just take, it, take a spoon or half spoon, mix water, apply it on your face, leave it for five minutes and then bath, have a bath. It is much, much better than any other cream, soaps, any chemicals. No side effects, no chemicals involved. Why do you want to depend on chemicals, medication and all? And whatever you are doing, it's not curing, it's not helping you. In fact, you are doing more bad to your body. So try to be natural. Try to understand the you know requirements. Your responsibility, that's your responsibility, you know. You should know what the body wants, you should provide what it wants at the right time. Then what responsibilities you have if you cannot take care of your body itself. We say, you know, I have a lot of responsibilities, I have that target, I have to do this, I have to deliver this, it's okay. But what about this responsibility, your body responsibility? That is your first and top priority, right? Your life, your body, your health, then comes anything else, right? So basically what you have to do is go to bed early, wake up early. You have to provide 4 liters of water a day. Okay, you cannot change it, you cannot skip it. Yoga, asanas, pranayama. It will strengthen, it will energize the system, it will help you to you know, get rid of the toxins by drinking water, by doing asanas, pranayama. And then try to have good food. Unpolished food, organic food. Two meals, I just suggest you to have two meals. If you if your work is you know in, involved in physical activity, lot of activity, then you can have three minutes. If you are simply sitting in front of laptop and all no physical work, then two minutes are more than sufficient. Why do you want to put lot of load on the system? Simply eat, 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 eat. That's not required. We don't need that much actually. Whatever you are e eating, it's providing some energy. That is more than sufficient to your body. If you are not consuming it, again you are eating. What happens? That will get deposited in the body in the form of fat and then obesity. And then whatever, the skin problem, pimples, that, there's a lot of issues, diabetes and all. You know, right? So whatever you are eating, eating, there is some energy. You have to consume it. If you are not into the physical activity, there is a lot of energy you are not consuming then it is not required. Two minutes are more than sufficient then. You will be eating all the time, snacks, three meals and then a lot of you know, fat is getting deposited, energy is getting deposited and then it gets converted into fat, obesity. 
then one by one, one by one. Just think. So two meals, best. Three meals, I don't suggest. It's okay. It's up to you. If you want to be healthy, two meals. In between, you can have some veg salad, fruit salad, whatever it is. So follow this, you see the results within a week or 10 days. Stay away from chemicals, processed food. Try to include, you know, good things, good habits in your life. Try to be positive, it will go off very quickly. And you can enjoy the, you know, healthy lifestyle.